Today we're going to be installing a condensate pump in one of our new wind-free wall mount units. The major components are going to be the pump body, the reservoir, the power cable, fusible link, and the harness that allows you to plug your overflow safety switch into our new wall mount unit the anti-siphon device. For ease of installation, I've added some of the tubing fittings before I try to place the pump up into the mini split. The first step is going to be to mount the reservoir and connect it to your drain line. Next, I'll mount my pump body, connect the hosing tubing to it. Then I'll connect my power and float switch wiring. And I'll also connect my communication cable. Now I can route my power wire back through the system. You can see that I've shortened my cable length coming back to my power supply. I've also included a fusible link to protect our electrical with the pump. So now we'll take our power from our L1 and L2 into our pump, utilizing the red and black wires. And then I'll show you how to hook up the safety overflow switch next. In the bottom of our new wind-free units, you'll see that there's a harness left over. And in your packaging, you'll find that there's this harness included in the packaging. To enable you to use your safety overflow switch, what you'll do is you'll plug this into the harness, into the existing harness on site, and we'll clip the wires on the other end. These wires will now be wire nutted into your purple and gray wires from your pump, indicating your safety overflow switch. Before I make the final connection, I want to show you that the sticker on this wiring harness shows you that you're going to need to change option codes for your unit. And it also lets you know that if your pump is open, you're going to see an error of an E665, and it'll be displayed on your unit or on your wall controller. The last step we'll show you is showing the anti-siphon device installed and connected up to your tubing from your pump. Now you should be able to close your unit back up, set your option code, and you should be good to go. And you'll find that once we close the bottom panel, all of the components will be nicely concealed. Now we're going to show you how to do the single option of adding the condensate pump to the system using a wireless remote control. The first step is going to be taking the batteries out of the back of the controller. Once the controller is blank, you're going to hold your temperature up and down buttons. And while you're holding those buttons, you'll replace the battery. You'll know you've done it correctly if when it comes back on the display, it says auto on zero zero. To make changes while inputting the option code, you'll use your fast to adjust the segment on the right. And your win free to adjust the segment on the left. The first change that we want to make is auto on D2. So we'll use our fast button to change the segment on the right to 2 and our win free button to adjust the segment on the left to change to D. Then we'll press our mode to advance to the next screen. On the cool on screen, we want to change it to 0, 08. Then we'll press mode to advance. On the dry on page, we want to change it to 8-0. Once that's done, you'll point your remote at the unit and press your power button several times. When you hear the unit beep like that, you'll know that it's taken the option code. For service manuals and other documentation, please visit our website at samsunghvac.com or use our Samsung HVAC mobile app to download any technical documentation. 
Thank you.